Welcome to Yankee Stadium. All right, the Yankees have made their first move to upgrade the bullpen for next season. They're bringing back a Yankees favorite, Tommy Canely. Now, Tommy Canely came over to the Yankees at the trade deadline in 2017. He had been with the Chicago White Sox. 100-mile-an-hour fastball, very good changeup. He pitched pretty well with the Yankees down the stretch. He went 1-1 one one with a 2.70 ERA in 26 and two-thirds innings. Struck out 36 hitters. That's a 12.2 strikeout per nine rate. 2018, he really struggled, though. 6.56 ERA. And then back to normal in 2019, 3-2 with a 3.67 ERA. 88 strikeouts in 61 in the third innings. Again, that's 12.9 strikeouts per nine. However, 2020, the COVID-shortened season, he appeared in just one inning. He struck out the side, but ended up having Tommy John surgery. He missed the rest of the season. He missed all of 2021, but he did sign with the Dodgers. Last year with the Dodgers, he returned to the mound. He appeared in 13 games, just 12 and two-thirds innings pitched, but he did have 14 strikeouts and three walks, 2.84 ERA. The stuff is still pretty much there. He's still got a very good changeup. And one thing that we've seen from Matt Blake, the Yankees pitching coach, is that he's excellent at working with pitchers on refining and improving their changeups. So a pitcher who already has a great changeup going to the Yankees, that could be a nice match. And he's still got a pretty good fastball. It's not 101 like it once was, but it is still pretty good, upper 90s. And he is a well-liked clubhouse figure. He was somebody that was the champion of the Madden tournament. Uh, he was a gregarious presence, a lot of high energy. Everybody in the clubhouse was a big fan of Tommy Canely. The fan base was rather disappointed when uh, he left to go to the Dodgers. They were devastated when he got injured. It was a, essentially the equivalent in 2020 of losing somebody like Jonathan Luizaga, a really good setup person. Now, he is 33 years old. He turned 33 on August 7th. So this contract, which is a two-year deal for $11.5 million, will take him through his age 35 season. But I see it as kind of a low-risk, high-reward move. We already know he's a quality human being. So I'm digging this move by the Yankees. Obviously, more moves to come. Aaron Judge, as we speak, is waiting to board a flight from Tampa to San Diego. So maybe today we'll get a decision on the big man. Got a podcast with Patrick Hennessy coming up tonight where we'll talk about all of the news that breaks today. Yankees still in on Rodon and a few others. Until then, I'll see you next time. Ball game over.